Geralt? I was supposed to find Alina. Have you? Yes. That's wonderful. Is she all right? Sit down and have a drink. Alina is dead. She has turned into a noon wraith, a demon. Dead? I know it's hard, but we can't leave this as it is. People will start dying in the fields if I don't do anything about this. I see. Do what you can. I'll pay you. It'll be more than a silver penny. Do what needs to be done, Witcher. And if you can, make it quick and painless. I'll try. You know, I believe in reason, not in gods. Yet I prayed to Melitelli that Alina and I would meet again. I had a bad feeling. I repulsed it. I think I need time to accept the thought that my Alina is dead. Geralt, how did it happen? Selina killed her, probably by accident. She's dead too. How? Adam killed her. He was in love with Alina, lost control of himself and killed Selina. By all the gods, that's terrible. So much suffering. What did they do to deserve this fate? Geralt, please help them, and I'll make sure Adam is arrested. He must answer for his crime. Mm -hmm. I'll do what I can to help the sisters' souls pass on. What do you want? I need your help on a matter of a spiritual nature. You can trust me. I don't know how to send Alina's spirit into the beyond. That conceited wench? She came to possess a rare and powerful Nehelenia's mirror, which once served oracles and prophets. Alina consulted her mirror quite frequently. With the question, who's the fairest of them all? I know Nehelenia's mirrors come in two varieties, polite, and broken. Alina's mirror was clearly broken. If you reassemble it and show Alina, the curse may be lifted. Thanks, Abigail.
The sun rocks the earth, grain falls from the stalk. Come away with me, wanderer. Come away with the noon rays.
can I? What is? I heard you're an expert on the legend of the Holy Grail. You seek the Holy Grail? I might. Let's talk first. Know that the legend of the Holy Grail has been studied for centuries. It's been interpreted in myriad ways. You must know an abridged version. Say, three theories? There are hundreds. But all right, three. The classic theory, of which I myself am a proponent. The conspiracy theory. And finally, one of the most mysterious. The philosophical or mystical. Which one first? Tell me the classic theory. Good choice. The Grail is a cup, a powerful magical object whose meaning cannot be fathomed by even the most powerful sorcerers. This chalice possesses the power to heal all diseases, poisonings and wounds, and pain will turn into power. One theory also states that in the hands of a rightful ruler, it can heal entire lands and protect their inhabitants from danger. Creatures of the dark, natural disasters, and so forth. Sounds like Dandelion's ballads, only without a love story. All who drink from this miraculous cup are healed, fortified, and enlightened to understand the truth. Let's move on to the conspiracy theory. That one sounds interesting. This was popularized by Bronze Dan, and begins with a convoluted theory about the derivation of the word Grail. A few tortuous pages in, we learn the Holy Grail is actually Sangrial, which in the Elder Tongue denotes royal hallowed blood. Bronze Dan concludes that the Grail is actually the descendants of the prophet Lebioda. Enough of this conspiracy talk. Tell me the classic theory. Good choice. The Grail is a cup. Of this so, or let's move this. Go on. These descend the thing which Thank you.
Yes. How did you get to murky waters? I was learning the elder language with Triss. There was a terrible storm. Then Triss told me to hide under the bed. Go on. I heard heavy footsteps on the stairs. Then Triss got angry at those men, angrier than she was when I colored her dress with magic paint that is only seen in the dark. I can imagine. I heard cries and people falling down the stairs, and I smelt burnt meat. Then more men came through the windows on ropes. They got Triss and beat her, I think. And a man in glasses asked her where I was. She said she teleported me to a friend in Kuvir, where the air is clean and there are many things to do. What happened then? The one in glasses said something about playing with her, and Triss said you would find him and kill him. Mm-hmm. And then she kicked him between the legs, and he started crying. And the others were afraid to get close to her because she started casting spells. Yeah, Triss is good at taking care of herself. Don't worry about her. Then someone ordered the room to be searched, and they found me. I ran, and they chased me, and I was running so fast. But then I tripped. They put a sack on my head and led me somewhere. I was scared. More than in the outskirts. I shut my eyes and imagined I was far away from those people. Somewhere beautiful with the sun shining. And then Alina found me. I'm not lying. I believe you. I won't go back there. They'll hurt me. Trish should come here. It's all right. Let's see. I'll be good. I promise. Be good. ahead of us. Master Witcher? I have the glimmering dust. Finally! I'll make my husband an amulet to repel the succubus. The herb manual as agreed. Farewell.
Beastie Beta. Any work for a witch? A creature looking like a fish with, they say, the crypt and... Any reward for... Bring proof? I killed the fish man. Dear gods, what is it? Take your... Farewell. Thank mm -hmm. you.
I asked you to hide if it turned dangerous. I hear voices. From all those women who live here. They're dead, Alvin. So many fear me. When they think I can't hear, they call me the devil's child. Those people, they're just afraid of what they don't understand. I want them to like me. I don't want them to die. What should I do? Your visions are a gift, not a curse. It's up to you to use them for good. I'll remember that. Yes? Can you reassemble a shattered mirror? For 100 orans. Deal. Take the pieces. I'll pay you when you're done. I'm tired. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. Monster slayers always find a point.
lean year ahead of us. Yes? Is my mirror ready? Like new. Now, 100 orange? Here. Gaze in the mirror. Alina? Take a good look. It's... So romantic. I am Alina. I must hurry. I am to marry soon. Alina, you're dead. Why do you say so? I feel wonderful. If a trifle cold. Strange. It's hot as hell. I must gather raspberries for my beloved. Why did Alina's soul refuse to leave? I can sense her happiness now that she's thinking about her wedding. She doesn't know she's a ghost. Hmm. Maybe Nehalenia's mirror is not enough to break the curse. I heard a story of a noon wraith who wouldn't wed a Nilfgaardian, but I don't remember how it ended. A legend, you say? Maybe I should ask those who know folk wisdom. I promised Julian I'd free his beloved. Geralt, do you love someone? Me. I don't know. That's sad. You should fall in love. I must gather raspberries.
What do you want? I need your help on a... You can trust me. I don't know how to send Alina... That conceited wench? She came to possess a rare... Un the mirror delighted Alina, yet she believes herself alive and is preparing to marry. Lost souls of the dead show a far greater sensitivity than those of the living. Poetic arguments should convince her long enough to see her damned sister. Dandelion will be perfect for that. Good luck, Witcher. Gerald? I need your help. Right. Shoot. I need a poem. A ballad. No problem. But to do it right, I need to know who it's for. Alina. Uh, isn't there a wedding the day after tomorrow? Not anymore. So, what should I write about? Death, Dandelion. Alina is dead, and her spirit roams the fields in daytime. Somehow we have to get her to understand that she's no longer among the living. Hmm, not your everyday commission, but I'm a professional. Any instructions? Don't provoke her and no jokes. She's dangerous. I'll need time. You have until sunset. Meet in the fields before dusk. Geralt? An agreement with the Vod- I think so. That is the will of the Lady of the Lake. Care to take issue? No, Witcher. I'm no fool. In that case, I'll need something that symbolizes your devotion to her, and your desire to achieve peace with the Vodianoi. Of course. What shall I give you? The alabaster figure depicting a young Vodianoi capturing a water elemental. Here it is. It would have fetched a fine price in Vizima, but peace is more important.
Iambic or dactylic? Or maybe something new? I'm feeling uninspired. What a nightmare. Geralt? How's the poem? Could we do this tomorrow? Too late. You'll have to improvise. Master Dandelion, you're to play at my wedding. Milady, Geralt and I have devised a short poem for two voices. Care to listen? Uh, what? Proceed. His lips sealed, his eyes blank, his breast stone cold, his heart has ceased. Still in this world, yet no longer apart, who is this man? The deceased. New life comes as hope springs true, his soul shines by memory embraced. The dead returns to the land of his youth to seek his beloved's face. His breast heaves, yet cold it remains. His lips move, his eyes engrossed. Return to the world, but detained by death. Who is this man? A ghost. Stop! Stop! Selena killed me. My soul shall know no peace until I am avenged. Alina, it's me. Selina. As you can see, you have been avenged. Selina, don't blame yourself. I know you never intended to kill me. I'm filled with regret. Tis justice. I am damned to wander the fields at night till the end of time. Perhaps. But if we were able to lift one curse, I see no reason why we shouldn't. Will you help, Witcher? I'll try. 
why did I save Abigail? Were her honor or virtue threatened? No. Because the law was being broken? No. Did I choose the lesser evil? No. The Reverend and his flock made a choice. I'm a witcher. I neither judge nor punish. I solve human problems. Not always using a sword. Geralt? I did what I could for Alina. How did it happen? Alina's soul found peace. Selina... Well, there was no way I could help her. Thank you, Geralt. I'm devastated. I was a happy man just a few days ago. Now... I don't know. I may go back to Kovia. Yeah. I have the distinct feeling you're not telling me everything. How perceptive. There is one more thing. Salamandra wants Alvin. I don't know why, but he's important to them. They sent me here to find him, but I have no intention to. I just want to earn some arms and leave. For good. 
So, you know nothing more about the attack on Kaer Morin, about the stolen Witcher's formulae? Not a thing. Then I have just one request. Stay away from Alvin. Yeah. Farewell. something you don't like what the funny fish man has come back those evil fish people finished eating from the lady's altar disgusting the Vodianoid priest has returned I must speak with him Kneel before lady. Speak easy. No kneel. Must be Dagonan and Bartholdi. No speak. So I'm to pay tribute to the Lady of the Lake? Exact. All right. I've taken Berenger's job. Tell me about this conflict. We underwater live deep. We lady love, yet not all. Many Dagon love, lady leave. The humans kill. I plead your sword, Dagon, tis love. I give reward. I see. Big blood bovine in village, Dagon for her come. This love, Dagon, I give reward. Something sword, something wonderful. You want me to steal the cow and use it to bait Dagon? This love, big blood bovine on altar. Dagon come from deep. I'm supposed to kill it on the altar. Prefer human sacrifice. Uraralalu. The Lady of the Lake wants to help resolve the conflict. Lialul be what? The Lady of the Lake wishes the Vodianoi to live in peace with humans. Killing their favorite cow wouldn't help. Yet Dagon must is loved be. I can take care of that too. But you'd have to give me something. Mm. Oh, big blood bovine, better idea. Yet obedient must be for Lady. Choose. I'll take your staff.
Yes? Milady, are these what you wanted? Try again, Witcher. Very well. Back to Julie. Yes? Milady. You sent a troubled soul into the beyond. You revealed Alina to herself with a song. True. Yes? Milady, I have had a revelation and wish to embark on a mission. Geralt, I'm warning you. I'll bring the Hallowed Cup to the Fisher King. He will be healed, and with him, the entire land. You deserve my esteem, Geralt of Rivia. I herewith knight you. From this day forward, you shall be known as Sir Bonehead. But, milady, you don't understand. Enough, Sir Bonehead. I understand more than you think. Another chalice for my collection, then. I shall not stand in destiny's way. I bid you fa- Yet? Milady. Try again. Very well. The Lady of the Lake won. The Lady. I can tell. Mm. The Gold Brace.
Milady, are these what you wanted? Indeed. Here, pour a drop of my blood onto the altar. Challenge Dagon to a duel. So be it.
yes? I killed Dagon. In gratitude, I will part the curtain of mists, allowing you to recall something of your past abilities. Thank you, milady. Use my gift wisely. Milady, it seems I am needed in murky waters. Destiny has brought you here. We must speak. Naturally. I am a goddess. You are the sword of destiny. Death has followed you for years. Perhaps. Accept this gift from the Lady of the Lake. It will help you fulfill your destiny. What gift is that? Kneel, Geralt of Rivia, White Wolf. You traveled a long path fraught with danger. You demonstrated courage and goodness. By divine power, I hereby knight you. Face your enemies without fear. Safeguard the helpless. Never lie, even if it means your death. That is your oath. Arise, a knight. Destiny will give you no rest. A long road lies ahead. I see death and blood. I see frosty chaos. Take this sword as a sign of my favor. Once the blade of a great warrior, it lay in the depths for ages, awaiting your arrival. Milady. Shh, Witcher. It matters not if you believe in destiny. With the blade I present you, you will complete your mission. Thank you, Milady. Go, White Wolf, and do what must be done. May you fulfill your destiny. I betrayed Kier Morin's location to the Salamandra leader. Then I helped them with their research. 
I was hunting the beast in the outskirts of Vizima when they captured me. I escaped and ran into Kalkstein, accepting his offer to open the tower in the swamp. That's when they nabbed me again. They weren't as nice the second time around. Finding Alvin, bringing him to them, was the only way I could save my skin. Why are you telling me this? I wanted to tell you to your face. See that famous icy glare of yours. I don't intend to judge you. Does that mean you understand? You don't condemn me? I can't condone your choices, but I guess I understand. Meaning? Do what you think is right. I'm not your nanny. Take this. We'll meet again, White Wolf. Geralt of Rivia! I've oft heard of your death. Forgive me, but I don't think I've ever heard of yours. White Rayla. What brings you here, Witcher? Slaying monsters. Nothing unusual. Have you seen a unit of elves in the area? No. No units. Watch what you say. You're hardly untouchable. If I discover you working with the Scoyotel... Threatening me? No. Merely helping you to avoid a serious error whose consequences might prove too dire for you to handle. You watch your step too. I'm not some emaciated elf. I can defend myself. I don't doubt it. Know that Vizima is burning. Non-humans have turned it into a war zone. Those poor starving elves are murdering humans by the dozen. My orders are to halt the unit to Ruvia Lepshahil commands and I won't have you getting in my way. They're cowering in the village and have taken hostages. We'll attack soon. I'll talk to the elves. Maybe they'll listen to reason. Siegfried vouched for you, so I'll give you a chance. 
Your intervention at the bank prevented the Scoia'tael from gaining gold to buy arms and provisions. Though weak, I doubt they'll heed you. But you never know. Promise them a fair trial if they lay down their arms. I'll try to persuade them. Wait until I return. You have my word. As White Rayla's adjutant, I would like a word with you, Witcher. I spoke to Rayla. Heard enough for today. Rayla is an excellent officer and truly detests non-humans. Perfect to lead this mission. But let me guess. Though she's a mercenary, she has her honor and keeps her word. Yet she's prepared to avert a massacre of civilians, even if that means the elves will escape. We foiled the robbery at Vivaldi's bank, and the Scoia'tael are weakened. We can afford the best mercenaries. Yet we cannot trust Rayla as we trust you. Looking to recruit me? Am I to stand with Rayla and kill the elves before they murder the hostages? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just walk. I'll put it in your terms. Monsters infest the village, hunt its inhabitants. They are destitute and hungry and all the more dangerous for that. Stand with Rayla, Witcher. With the Order. Against these monsters. Why would I do that? For some of Vivaldi's gold? No, to support a just cause and prevent a massacre like that in the outskirts, and to save your friends from ravenous beasts. Geralt? Dandelion. Teruviel's elves have taken hostages in the village. What do we do? I spoke with Rayla. She's leading the Knights of the Order. Geralt. Alvin's one of the hostages. I know. I'll try negotiating with them. All right. I'll keep a lookout behind the village mayor's house. When you're ready, come tell me what to do. I need to talk to White Rayla and Teruviel. Somehow I doubt this will be easy. You'll manage. See you.
she uh, My regards, Mr. Winter. Yes? You all right? No. I feel strange. I can hear what they're thinking. It's terrible, Geralt. Do you have the necklace? Yes. I wear it all the time. I don't want to hear them. Geralt, why are the elves doing this? The elves refuse to concede that the world has changed. They cannot win, but still they fight. It's their sad, desperate attempt at halting evolution. I'll remember that, Geralt. Something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. I've got to talk to Turuviel. Stay here. I cannot wait to fight. Idleness ties me. Geralt. Why have you come? I've come to prevent a massacre. There will be no massacre if they let us depart. You could have left the children alone. In faith, I could not. White Rayla stands on that shore. Several peasant corpses made no impression on her. The children halted her advance. White Rayla wants you to lay down your arms. She guarantees you a fair trial. You take me for a fool, Witcher. White Rayla exacts only one punishment, death. The unit from Vizima spoke of you. Why should I trust you? Release the peasants, then you can kill each other as you please. I shall release no one. Try any of your tricks and these Dwan will die. And tell that singer to cease lurking behind the house before someone puts an arrow in his ass. Geralt? Dandelion, things have gone from bad to worse. Scoyatel on one side, the Order on the other, and us in the middle with Alvin. One should never negotiate with terrorists. Negotiation leads to concessions. Concessions are a victory for terror. Folks become fearful, uncertain. I chose the lesser evil. The bank's new owners were grateful for the Order's intervention. They agreed to support the crusade against non-humans. We won't need to wait long to see the results. Geralt, what now? Leaving's not an option. You'd make enemies of both the Order and the non-humans. I'm not worried about that. I'd rather save Alvin, but if I go, there could be a massacre, and I have friends to think about. Witcher, this feels like a pivotal moment. What you do will have consequences. So do we grab Alvin and leave them to it? Exactly. What should I do? Find the Fisher King and tell him to be ready. We're going back to Visima. All right. See you at the lakeside. I want to get Alvin out of here. I can't allow him to be harmed in any way. The little one has come to love you as a son loves a father. We do not kill children. Take him with you.
Witcher. What happened? Fucking fanatics, not an ounce of professionalism. They stripped me of my command, and when I refused to attack, my adjutant pulled out a letter from Siegfried. Had it all along. Well... How did it go? I decided to stay out of the fight. What of the elves? And I don't care who won. The victors should arrive at any moment. Time to abandon this post. The Fisher King's boat is taken. We'll meet again. Geralt? Berengar. I have his confession. It contains some clues that could be important. Clues? We haven't finished with Salamandra. Azar Javed, the mage who attacked Kaer Morin, is somewhere in Vizima. He feared neither sorcerer nor the hosts of the damned. You're raving, Dandelion. And walked bravely on, his destiny to meet. Let's go. Geralt? This is... What happened? Alvin opened a portal and disappeared. He could be anywhere. We need to get back to Vizima. Triss might have some ideas. Vizima it is, then. After you. We arrive in Vizima soon. Hmm. Smell that? Yeah. Smoke. Something's burning. Heavy and stifling. Like thatched roof huts. Damn it, Geralt! Look! God damn it, Geralt. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You should be used to the sight of fighting by now, Dandelion. We should never grow accustomed to violence and horror, especially the sensitive among us. Luckily, we mutants have no feelings, is that what you mean? Nose to the ground, forging on. You're like a bloodhound on a fresh trail. Old Vizima awaits. Probably the sight of the heaviest fighting, then there's the plague. We need to get inside. Finally, I'll find out who's behind Salamandra. Geralt? You sure you want to come? I'd never desert you. I want to help. But matters may get intense. 
I hope you don't think I'm scared. Not at all.